Hey guys, Zach you back here. This is part two of my Roblox How to Build an Obby series. Today, we are going to learn how to make a lava block that kills a player on contact. These blocks can be used for many unique obstacles and add a fun twist into your game. So let's get started. First, create a block and set it to the size you want. I'm going to change the color to red and material to neon so it looks more like lava. Then rename the block to lava. Before we begin writing a script that actually kills the player, let me first explain how it works. When a player touches the lava, Roblox actually detects the specific body part of the player that touched it, such as their left leg or right foot. This part is in the player's character model. Any body part that touches the lava is part of the character model, so you can get a reference to that character with other part not parent. Next, add a script to the block. I'm going to name it Lava Script. Remove the default code and type in local lava equals script dot parent. This line simply means that you are referencing to the object this script belongs to. In this case, it is lava because we created the script for lava. Next, create a function called kill player. other part as an argument inside the parentheses. By the way, if you don't know what any of these terms mean, like local for example, it means you have to spend time and learn Lua, the programming language that Roblox was built on. Now let's add the expression I mentioned above, other part dot parent inside our function. So this basically means when the kill player function is called, the game finds the player that touched the block and kills them, and not some other random guy. Right now, we have our character object in the part parent variable. But to kill the player, we need to get the humanoid object because this is the object that contains the health attribute. To do this, let's add these lines into our function. So if the humanoid object is found, we change this object's health value to zero. And now finally add lava.touch semicolon connect kill player. Let's check this line and understand what it does. Lava is our variable from the first expression, local lava equals script.parent. Then we call the Roblox method touch, so if the lava is touched, then we connect the function we just created. Let's check if it works.
So there's no lava here, but this is just a simple mistake. All we have to do is anchor the part. Let's test this one last time. <coughs> As you can see, everything worked perfectly. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. In my next video, we'll be digging deeper into Roblox Studio scripting.